Hey guys, welcome back to Xpop channel. Myself Rakesh, and today I am going to start the certification. So I have already created a playlist on Xpop channel. If you go to the uh, playlist, you would find something called UiPath certification, both for associate and advanced certification. Here is the playlist where you will find all the contents. Now in the UiPath Academy, when you go to certification for both the certifications. they have provided the practice test so open the practice test and go through it okay that is where you will understand what kind of a questions are coming and what are the topics we should prepare that is the main agenda so here let's say i have opened one of the question and in this question we are going to talk about everything around the topic so every question is based on a topic for example this question click activity is based on this topic describe the difference between using full selector and partial selector and you can easily know it what is the topic just by looking at the question if you see it is talking about partial selector so let's get started and understand okay so likewise we will be covering all the questions and the topics around it in detail because you will not get the same question you will get some different question around the topic and if you know everything around the topic you should be able to answer those questions so let's get started so the question here that i have a click activity with a partial selector so this is the topic a click activity with a partial selector is nested inside another activity in which activity is the click activity contained for the workflow to execute so the answer is attach window what is that activity which contains the partial activity the click activity is the attach window so what is that let's understand in the uip studio in detail so that any question which comes any kind of a question which comes you should be able to answer now the very first thing uh, now we are learning the topic full selector and the partial selector okay we are learning the topic full selector and partial selector now the first thing you go to your project settings and ensure you disable the modern design because it will be easy to understand the full selector and partial selector in within the classic design so i have disabled it and saved click on okay so once you do this your top window this particular panel will change and you would have something called recording data scraping screen scraping and all that now let's get started first thing i will be interested to see how a full selector appears i want to see the appearance of both of it right how a full selector appears and how a partial selector appears okay all right now for that i have opened a notepad let's say this is a blank notepad i have opened okay blank notepad and i want to apply the full selector and also the partial selector and show you the difference now full selector let's say i want to type something into the notepad so i'll use a type into activity i am in the classic design i am using a type into activity now here in the type into activity you will indicate on screen and select the application let's say notepad so what happens so this is one way the another way to work on this notepad is attach window if i'm using a attach window okay and here i'm going to click on indicate this application notepad application and once i indicate i want to type into something i want to type inside this notepad so i'll drag and drop a type into activity and now i want to type let's say rakesh okay and here also i want to type let's say rakesh so what is the difference let me show you so the first one the first activity you will call it as a full selector why you are calling this as a full selector reason being if you select this type into activity and click on selector in the property panel open the selector now you will see the very important term is known as top level element remember the important term is top level element now if you look at the full selector which is a individual activity generally a full selector will be a individual activity individual activity and a partial selector would be inside a container partial selector will be always inside a container activity such as attach window is a container activity other one is attach 
browser is a container activity in the modern design you have something called use application slash browser so these are the container activities okay so inside the container activities if you have right so that would become a this would become a partial selector and if it is an individual activity that will become a full selector so how do you know the difference let me tell you now i have highlighted the type into activity which is an individual activity it is not inside the container now this activity will have a top level element if you look at windows app that means this is the application name is win notepad.exe class name is notepad title of that application is untitled because it is a new blank uh, notepad right so when a activity is not inside a container activity and has the and will have the uh, top level element this will be known as a full selector this will be known as a full selector now look at this type into activity if you look at this type into activity if you open this selector what is there there is a top level element but again this top level element is not editable you cannot edit this reason being you why you cannot edit because this top level element is appearing from the attach window so this activity understands i have to work as per the container whatever the container has this selector so the container selector is this one right as per the container selector i need to work so it will not have its own individual top level element getting it and this uh, inside a container you cannot edit this is also very important point you cannot edit the top level element when it is inside a container that means it's a partial selector partial selector means it is inside a container and this activity top level element is not editable that is the that is one of the difference and in the full selector the top level element is always editable if you see i can type anything okay i can ch make changes to the selector so this is the first difference so what is the difference we have learned we have seen a full selector the full selector will be a individual activity and a partial selector will be inside a container activity such as attach window attach browser or use application browser okay similar way so this is the first difference and what is the second difference we have learned second difference we have learned top level element right top level element inside a full selector is editable you can edit it while in a partial selector it is for the activity it is not editable for the activity but for the container you can edit if you look at the container you can edit this you have the option to edit okay but for the activities inside the container it is not editable you can see it yourself right so if you hit on the selector you can't edit this this is grayed out okay that is the first difference you should know partial selector and uh, full selector okay now same thing can be done for even for a browser for browser uh, let's say i want to click let's use a click activity okay so if i use a click activity and let me uh, open the browser so let's say i want to click on the video section on this browser and i'm using an individual activity that means i'm using a full selector indicate on screen and hitting on a element of the ui element of the browser now if you select this if you hit on the selector you will see the top level element how it has come html because it is a html page chrome.exe title is expo hub youtube so this top level element has appeared so this kind of a individual activity will be known as a full selector now how about uh, using a partial selector now for the partial selector i can use a attach browser okay there is activity called attach browser now when i'm using a container immediately will become a partial selector right so let's click on indicate browser on screen so this is going to select the entire page if you see how it is selecting and then if i use a click activity now this click activity you will call it as a partial selector the first one is a full selector and this is a this is a partial selector so if you open the selector you see the top level element is not editable so this will become a partial selector so very simple anything which in a container will become a partial selector all the activities inside this container will become a partial selector individual activities which has the entire top level element and all its attributes all these are att attributes so all this will be known as a this kind of activity will be known as a full selector so in a project you can have both full selector and partial selector 
you can have both in combination you can use you can only go with partial selector you can only go with full selectors up to you but there is a recommendation okay the recommendation is very very important what is the recommendation this is also you will get questions around this you will go for a full selector or will you go for a partial selector let's say you are working on multiple windows multiple windows multiple windows in the sense for example you are working on a browser tab you are moving on to some other browser right you are moving on to third browser if you are working on multiple different pages in that case you are using multiple windows for example you are working on notepad you are working on calculator right you are working on paint you are working on any other application right you are working on multiple applications that means you are, you have to go for a full selector because every window will have its own attributes right if you are using on multiple windows or applications you have to go for a full selector now there is an important point if you are working on a single window let's say i want to only work on the notepad i want to type multiple things so i want to type rakesh so you'll use one type into activity then you want to say hello so you will use another type into activity again uh, you will put to enter then after giving two spaces you want to write something else right so when you're writing working on a single window see this is a single window that time you'll be using a partial selector because this is going to save some time right save some codes it will not use the same top level element multiple times so it, your project will become heavy so that time the recommendation is you should go for a partial selector that means you should use a container and inside the container you should put all your activities okay so what are the containers very very important attach window attach browser and then uh, in the modern design you have something called use application slash browser right this is the activity in the modern design so this kind of a container activities is used for a partial selector and when you should go for it you can go for it this is a recommendation okay this is not mandatory the recommendation is you should use a partial selector when you are dealing with a single window okay if you are dealing with multiple windows then you should go for a full selector now one more difference you should know this is a window now if i open another page within the application this becomes a different window so i'm dealing with one window two window i'm dealing with two different windows so in that case what is the recommendation the recommendation is i should go for a full selector if i'm only dealing with the first window then i should go for a partial selector similar way for a browser if i'm only dealing with this particular page i'm clicking on video then playlist then community i'm i'm clicking i'm working on only on this window then i should go for a single window means go for a partial selector and you know the reason why because all the top level element would remain the same for all the activities so to save uh, less number of codes and less number of so we should go for a container activity which is a partial selector if i have to deal with multiple windows so every window will have its own attribute own title own um, right chrome.exe remain the same but the titles and the class would will be different this title of the page is different the title of this page is different title of this page is different so in those cases i should use a full selector getting it so these are the first couple of points that you should know when to use or what is the recommendation for a full selector when to use that and when to use for a partial selector so the word is very simple partial selector means you are doing multiple actions on a single window and a full selector means you are dealing with multiple windows okay write it down you are dealing with multiple windows so if you have seen this example it should be pretty clear that is one this is also another question that you may get is about the recording okay there are two different recording basic recording and desktop recording now what happens when you use a basic recording does it use a partial selector or does it use a full selector so for that all we will do will open the basic so let's say i am working on notepad okay so um, i will hit on record and let's say i want to type rakesh okay rakesh so once i type rakesh uh, I want to uh, hit enter, okay. Then hit on enter on your keyboard, and the next thing I want to type is let's say uh, Expo Hub, and then I want to hit on enter. So what I am doing, I am I am I am I am actually uh, typing in the window 
and then let's say I want to move it to a different window. Let's say I want to click on format and hit on font. So I am dealing with a different window now. Okay. Step was not recorded successfully. Okay. So when 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 I am using a uh, so what I wanted to show you here when you are using so let me save and exit now if you are using a basic uh, recorder what happens it is using all individual activities and if you are seeing an individual activity like this not within a container that means it's using a full selector so remember this point a basic recorder uses a full selector okay now same thing you try out for the desktop recorder okay now desktop recorder what kind of activity this uses so let's hit on record uh, let's clear all this just a moment let me hit on escape let me first of all clear the notepad okay now let's start recording now if you record anything over here let's say i'm typing rakesh it is slightly slow let me type rakesh hit enter uh, now let me type uh, expo hub just click on it expo hub hit on enter hit on enter okay so now if i as hit on escape system is quite slow now hit on escape and save and exit now you will see when you are using a desktop recording what it is doing it is using the attach window it is using the attach window right so i have clicked somewhere somewhere uh, because the system was not responding but what i wanted to show you it is using attach window so if it is using a container then this will become a parcel selector so if a question comes what kind of a selectors is used uh, for basic recording that is a full selector for desktop desktop recording is using parcel selector so when you should use a desktop recording when you are parcel selector should be used when you are working on a single window right i told you when you are working on a single window that time i should go for a parcel selector i am doing multiple activities in a single window that time i should use a parcel selector so if i have to work on a single window so which one i should choose i should go for basic recording or desktop recording because it's single window i am dealing i'll be going with a desktop recording let's say i'm dealing with multiple windows then i should go for a basic recording where it will be using a full selector so that is the understanding you should have guys okay so thank you so much for watching it i hope with this example you should be able to answer all the varieties of question that might appear for the full selector and the parcel selector okay so if you watch this video i'm pretty sure you can answer all the varieties of questions appearing around full selector and parcel selector okay so thank you so much guys please do continue watching all the videos that i am going to place in that playlist and uh, that will help you to get you the overall knowledge around a topic and because our questions will change it won't appear you won't get the same questions right so that's why you should learn the entire topic so please do follow this uipath certification playlist guys thank you we are going to meet again in the next video take care bye bye